never trust a tourist advertisement. Take your belongings off my ship first. Never trust a tourist advertisement. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Now get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. But reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the Flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Lee. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. E. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds 
charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. I don't care about your petty excuses. 
No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a P.I. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say... Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. 
As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throckmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. Take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. It would take tremendous effort to move <laughs> this thing, let's let alone see what you tossing find, it over fella. like this. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or K? did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Choo-choo. Ahem. <clears throat> Recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp.
I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. So, that's what an inn's mouther looks like. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. This ape face. <laughs> yeah, run. <gasps> What's happening? Okay, let's see what we have here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Let's see what you find, newcomer. My head! I still hear those voices. <laughs> 